you can answer that one. What is that? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Ice Project. Thanks for tuning in. I've um, got a few tigers in the house, but for now, roll the intro. Welcome to the Ice Project. Project. Welcome to the Ice Project. Hey boys, what's up? <laughs> Ooh, you like that, eh? Hey? Like, what about this? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, boys in the house. A um, few tigers in the house. Thanks for coming in, boys. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks um, for having us, bro. No worries. Uh, so, talk to probably one of my favourite sinners from the Tigers, uh, Chikam. What's up? <laughs> 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 no, nah, legit. Oh, he's cut. He's cut. <laughs> oh, he's looking me in the eyes, too. <laughs> he's getting to answer. Yeah. Lucky I paid 5 8. <laughs> Chico, what's up? Nah, what's up, boys? How you been? Yeah, good, good lad. What's been happening? Been married in the off season? How was yeah, that? Yeah, um, got married in October. Yeah, pretty, yeah, probably best day of my life. Um, look good, look good. Yeah, fast, mad. Ain't having everyone there. How do you propose? Um, so me, me and Mrs. were about to um, buy our first property, just mm. like a apartment, and I just thought, <clears throat> oh, I set it up, like put the inside, put the balloons up and stuff. Like, she, had, she had no idea. And then um, we're supposed to go in for the first reveal, like to see the house and stuff. And then, yeah, walked into the room and are you, there's are you, big balloons there. Are you a bit of a romantic? <laughs> 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 no, I don't know how I got the idea. I was, yeah, just thought it was a good good time to do it. Yeah, that's smooth, you know, man. You know, that's yeah. smooth. So when they good and everything? In it? Yeah, yeah. No, it was all good. We went to um, Mexico for the honeymoon. Yep. Uh, that was um, that was mad. And um, Georgie and Louis Brown was there. The yeah, movie. the so boys, was, the boys. Yeah. Honeymoon with those two, too. <laughs> How good going on the honeymoon, eh? Hey? Got, got the boys got hanging the off boys here. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, f- oh can you fuck off, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, so a big question we're beginning that um, Troy scored against the Bronx. Um, I know you're big into American sports, support any team that Kyrie goes to, is that, it? Is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. And you, they big on clutch moments, can't come more clutch than that. Yeah, f- uh, that was... That was Do you remember it? Do you remember it? Right, it just happened quick as eh? like... Uh, well, then, then wasn't even supposed to get the ball, and then got it, and then just ran infield up. But I was actually thinking about job kicking it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, can you hit him all right? It? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, bro, because no, the boys were standing around, like no yeah. one knew what I was gonna do, and then I just seen a little, like I think it was bird, uh, bird rushed out, and then I was like, someone took a dummy, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just throwing dummies. Um, good. everyone fell for it, but I don't. Know. And your yeah. good mate Milf was trying to chop you down. You got <laughs> 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 always stop me, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, but. Ah, that was buzzy, man. Do you ever think about that could be like the best moment of your career, or do you yeah, think that uh, long term? Or nah, yeah, that was that's probably the best moment of my career. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Getting nervous. It's all about you here, isn't it? <laughs> all right, Isan, what's up? How are you, bro? How you, you get engaged too? Not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, I got engaged in October. So how did you do that? Oh no, not in October. Shit, um, December. 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 Yeah, and Christmas yeah, Day. So how did you do that? Um, just yeah. Took up to the park just up the road from my house, Breakfast Point. Yeah. It's a pretty nice area. So yeah, it is a nice area, isn't it? All these white Which people guy? there. Um, yeah, just went out there and um, there's this little park and then um, just my, got my mum in the morning to go set it up. <laughs> Didn't know what I was doing. So um, yeah, just took her up the road and yeah, just proposed to her. It was, she was sort of like feeling like um, if it was going to happen or not. So Oh, was she asking? Yeah, she was asking because she, she asked. She actually asked. always do that shit, eh? <laughs> She actually asked the night before and then I was like, nah. She's like, she thought it was going to come. I like, got the ring and stuff and I was like, nah, nah, I just got your bag. Like, mm. this is the bag you want to And she was like, I think she said- Oh, she down. cut? Yeah, she yeah. was cut inside it and I was like, oh. Had the ring the whole day. I was pretty nervous. Told her mum in the morning. So, um, yeah, took up the road and yeah. <laughs> took <laughs> up the road. <laughs> so, yeah. How Kiwi does that sound? Nah, he just took <laughs> off the road. <laughs> What'd you say? Like, I'm always interested in what people nah, say. Nah, just, just said- Drop a knee? <laughs> Yeah, you have to drop the knee. But that was funny because I dropped the knee and then, yeah, open the box and you share the ring. I yeah. opened it the other way. <laughs> to myself. So. Jeez, you're fresh. Um, yeah, no, it was pretty good. Um, she she was pretty happy, so. Mm. So when, any wedding plans? Yeah, she she does most of the stuff, so. Oh, yeah, that's that's all about them, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I just have to turn up or what's you on, so. Yeah, are you going to have a box and not invite me like you did to your 21st? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an off <laughs> you remember that too? Eh? I was cut, man. He had a twenty first. Oh. All the boys are there. True. Oh, Sorry, oh yeah, man. that was us. I didn't think you were coming. You were busy. You said you were busy that week. Just yeah. trying to sell a t-shirt here and there, man. 
hustle days. Yeah, Mate. so we, when you get married, where? Yeah, so in October, the Botanical Gardens in, um, in the city, so. Yeah. Um, oh, you're not fucking around, straight into it. Yeah, yeah. so get it over and done with, so. Not yeah. like that, but try and, try and do it as quick as, as we can, so. Just get it, yeah, out of the way and yeah. move forward with life. So I first met Isan in Cook Island camp, um, didn't know too much about you, to be honest. Sort of rolled up and sort of asked who all the boys were, because we had a pretty young side, eh? Yeah, there wasn't much guys that were playing NRL at the time, I think. You yeah. and Alex were the only guys, and Chance, I think, just debuted. Debuted, so. yeah. And um, went into the camp, didn't know too much about you, got to meet you, and probably on that day, you're probably our best player, you and Chance, and you guys are sort of kicked on, and you guys are doing real big things right now. Um, but yeah, I remember, because you were playing centre, center and now 5'8 went down, you're still hanging out in the centres, and then you come in like the last 15, I was like, fuck, yeah. why didn't you play there the whole game? <laughs> fuck with. <laughs> <laughs> Getting pumped by a little kummel. <laughs> 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 they just on the, solid, lad. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. But, do you, know, uh, do you know what Takas told me about um, the Kumbles one time? He goes, you don't know who to spot them up because when you look across the line, they're all the same height. They all look exactly the same. Mate. So you're, you're trying to get to one of them, but they all look the same. So. Uh, yeah. So, no, nah, yeah. Fuck, it was Not a the tough Rod game. Griffins. Yeah, it was episode of Rod Griffins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you sort of kicked on. Um, sort of, I remember you always sort of knew you were going to play NRL, like not too long, like not too far away. And you sort of kicked on, moved on to play for Kiwis, New Zealand, Maori. What's all that been like? It's been a crazy two years, hasn't it? Yeah, it definitely has been a, a crazy two years for me. I think uh, for myself, pretty young. So how uh, old are you? Twenty two. So you, oh, I looked at you. Thinking, born in ninety six, eh? Ninety six. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's young. So twenty two. Yeah. So still trying to do as best as I can now. I think. Um, yeah. Still trying to make that Kiwi side, so hopefully Madge picks me. Are you brushing oh. the cookies? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. All cookies, all cookies. Uh, yeah, either all. Uh, um, what, what was it like playing for the Maldi side? Yeah, no, it was good. It was good to uh, learn a bit, a, bit, a bit more about my heritage. Yeah. Um, so I grew up, I didn't really grow up on that like Maldi side. It was sort of my nan, so um, mm. it was good to go to Melbourne and sort of experience that stuff. So yeah, being run out of it. Yeah, it was sort of like being in the Kiwis, that yeah. sort of environment. Um, but yeah, having more Maldives in the side, um, guys got more stink feet. You, so. <laughs> <laughs> check, check, check. Are you banging on the accent when you got on there? Nah, nah, actually you, not. You would have. There's a few boys that were. Tackers, 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 tackers is the worst. Tackers is the worst. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try to check on his Kiwi accent, mate. Yeah. All right. Hey, Corey, what's up? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Corey's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, <laughs> give, it, give it a run there, Tom. He was holding the light. He was holding the light. <laughs> Bah, you're the man, bah. You, I rate you as a winger. Oh, thank you. Uh, what's your sort of story? Where have you come from? I don't know. Um, this is my first time I met you. So. I grew up in Brisbane. Yeah. I uh, played Queensland Cup first and then... Um, you come through 20s and that? or No, um, I played Colts in Brisbane, so they're under 20s in Brisbane. Yeah. Um, they booed Queensland Cup when I think I was 19. And then... For who? Um, South Slogan, yeah. Magpies. So yeah. um, we had a good team, like Ricky Latelli uh, was in it. Um, Sam Matarora was there. Oh, yeah, I know Sammy, yeah. And then um, I was just lucky to um, get spotted there and go to the Bulldogs in 2013. Yeah, you debuted not too long after? Yeah, I played one year in reserve grade for the Dogs and yeah. then um, debuted NRL the next year. I remember I played you in um, reserves when I hit hide you by accident. <laughs> but it gave me the late... Oh, actually, i got a story on you. hard to do. I've got, got a story on you too. Oh, oh, oh. Was it Brookie? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, 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 actually. Oh, I've got two stories oh. on you. Wait till, oh. wait till we get back to you. But oh, yeah, sort those of... stories, eh? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> nah, so um, obviously we went, went over to England, come back, and like you've just killed it ever since. What was England like? People um, haven't been over there? Yeah, for the first year, I really enjoyed it. You uh, went to witness? Yeah. How'd you go playing on that ground? Oh, it was horrible. Shit, isn't yeah, it? Fake fake grass wasn't wasn't the best, but yeah. uh, Brett Hodgson was there. He was the assistant coach, and uh, for the first year, I really enjoyed it, and then uh, I, re I really missed Australia, and you know, watching all the boys that I, that I grew up with play NRL, and you know, I really wanted to come back, and I knew I could still offer, offer something in Australia, and I was lucky enough the Tigers. How did that out. come about? Did you, were you just, um, just head up by Ivan, or did your manager sort no, it out? Or? Uh, pretty much after the first year, I told my manager... You know, I wanted to come home. I would even come back to play Queensland Cup. Oh, you know, really? I really didn't like um, living in England for that second year. Shit, eh? I hated it I just, too. I just hated the the weather, and <laughs> you know, I, I like the I don't like cold. So yeah. for eight months of the year, it's freezing over there. So I mm. told my manager I'll come back to play Queensland Cup. You know, I'm not fast. Just get me, just get me home. And I was lucky the Tigers just reached out and signed it straight away, mm. and then um, played the last year in England and came straight home. Well, did you, what did you learn? I feel like a lot of players go over there a little bit young, come back better players. Yeah. Probably Mahi's another one, you know what I mean? He, you guys, he plays for you guys yeah. and he goes well. Is it, do you reckon um, just going over there you learn a lot and you realise how good it is back here? Yeah, yeah, I think you appreciate it more back here and I think you, uh, 
for for myself. I got a lot of confidence playing over there. Because you scored you scored heaps of tries and shit over there, eh? Oh, I don't know how <laughs> many. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I, I just oh, pump yourself up, man. Don't worry, don't worry about these two idiots. I scored forty-five. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, shit. I got um, eight. Just, just confidence over there. You know, when I was here, I was in and out of reserve grade, and mm. you sort of don't know where you're at. And over there, I got to play week in, week out of of the top footy in England, and I came back just with a lot of belief in myself, and you know, it, it's really helped so far. Do you know what you do when you go over there? You knock up some games pretty quick in a short yeah. space of time, eh? So you get you just get repetition. You get to play and play. And over Easter weekend, you play like three games in seven days. And you do you do get a lot of confidence and a lot of gratitude coming back. Yeah. And you're grateful for the weather here. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? The facilities and all that sort of stuff. Well, congratulations for everything you've done since then, but you've been a weapon. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, Cheekam. I remember the first time I met Cheekam. <laughs> we were playing out in Windsor. Oh, and and he was the back row on my side, he's saying, but he was talking shit though. He goes, get it, John, he's a spot. Get it, John, he's a spot. And I was like, who's this fucker? <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, probably about 15 minutes in, ran beauty, sprained ankle. Oh, <laughs> oh, Georgie sure. Jenning, because oh, I tipped him up. He was trying to come to me, and Georgie Jenning, I was like, oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, Georgie come oh, along, took his too, anchor yeah, up. Yeah. That. Yeah. Bro, yeah. syndesmosis, oh, eight weeks, eh? Hey? Yeah. No, oh, thanks, bro. But he's in Red Room <laughs> the next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So let's talk about the Tigers. Um. You guys, guys, win games, lose games. You sort of in that sort of phase. Um. Where, where do you grow from here? Like, what, what changes? Just trying to get consistent wins. How does that change? Um. Yeah. I think consistency. Yeah. It just yeah. comes down to consistency. Because there's some days you guys fucking look all time, and then other days probably that Parramatta game was probably the. But then that happened to them up in Melbourne too. So you just don't know. Yeah, I think with, with our team, uh, you know, Madge spoke, spoke to us through the week as to our preparation. I think if you look back, the games that we travelled and we're all together as a team. Um, he's a better, really he's good, a better uh, like that. Better yeah. Good, yeah, so I think just with the preparation and stuff that... Preparation. <laughs> preparation. <laughs> preparation. <laughs> yeah, preparation. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, so when we prepare well, I think um, that's when we play our best footy, so... Mm. What do you reckon? No, yeah, same, I think. Our starts too are a massive impact for us. We um we either start fast like we did on the weekend and you know. Oh, you guys you guys come out flying, eh? Then it helps. What what that, new look, that new look left edge, that's why. Who's over there now? Me and um Jeno. I had to go to the right because too yeah. much line break. <laughs> 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 that's actually the, the oh, two. Oh really? Yeah, actual, oh, the <laughs> Can you Action. speak? Can you speak English on here, please? <laughs> I don't yeah. know if this mic's working. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, obviously, you guys are in a little bit of off-season drama with your club, with Ivan leaving. Like, um, do you ever ever wondered where the bus went, man? <laughs> or like, what's your thoughts on that? Because like, I think I feel like all you guys sort of took the next step in your NRL careers underneath Ivan. I've been coached by Ivan. I'm I'm a I'm a big av- I'm I'm a fan of him to be honest. Um obviously he's not going through the best patch right now, but I think he's a really good coach. Um what was that like when you left? Yeah, it was pretty pretty disappointing, I think, for some of the players. Uh I don't I took it uh pretty well. I was overseas and playing for New Zealand, so you're just collecting test match money. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Looking at his bank account. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't find out till I looked on social media, so and then finding out my head coach was the head coach of the Kiwi, so yeah. Um, oh, it was a bit that he gave you Not hugged him too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the story, bro. Tell it. Nah, there was nothing. Oh, yeah, hugged him. Nah. <laughs> um, and then yeah, just finding out that he's gone and um, what these boys were going through back in, in New Zealand, oh, in Sydney, so yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really think too much. He gave me my debut, so I was, I'm still pretty good with him. So yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah. Oh no, nah, I got a lot of respect for Ivan. Um, as a coach and as a because you, 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 yeah. you had a pretty big name as a schoolboy coming through in the twenties. Eh? I remember hearing a lot about you, and it's not till it's probably the last couple of years that you've really kicked on and scored like some pretty good tries and played some really good football. Um, was that under Ivan, or was that yeah. just something that you needed to learn on your own, or what? Um, I think just like because I've been in the system now for ages now. Coming through Manly, I was there for like three years, and you played like five games. Yep, and um, you just learn like heaps things, heaps of things about yourself, like um preparation wise and mm. stuff like that and I uh, just like waiting for the opportunity like I always like was confident in my ability and stuff and I was just waiting for the opportunity and um, yeah I guess Ivan gave me that um, you know the opportunity uh, to play consistent first grade and nah I've like always grateful for him and 
Um, but yeah, I guess he just had to do what's best for him and his family. And yeah, yeah, no, it was good, man. What about you? How do you feel about it? You're, you're probably a little bit more mature. You mature. You've gone overseas, come back. Did you care or no? Um, oh, I didn't really care to take it as a personal, you know, thing yeah. that he left. But you know, I was always grateful for Ivan because he brought me back from England. So he done the same for me as well. So yeah. that's why I'm sort of grateful for him. So like, and he fucked me off too. He goes, "Oh, we're not going to sign <laughs> you here." <anymore." laughs> oh. Oh, this one fucked me. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he brought me back and. <laughs> yeah, gave me that shot round one against the Roosters. You um, scored a ma- match winner there? Oh, I think so. <laughs> off, my, off my head. Off, <laughs> my head. <laughs> off his forehead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, <clears throat> I know it's a business. You know, players leave, coaches leave. And, you know, I knew Madge was coming in and he's a, he's a great coach. And, you know, I, I just try to do the same as what I did, you know, when we had Ivan. And, mm. you know, I just keep my head down and work hard. Because I know, like, Russ and Ben are, like, pretty good mates. And I know Russ was, like, pretty angry about it wasn't it because he's a little bit old school like oh if you shake my yeah. hand look yeah, me in yeah, the yeah. eye like I expect you to honour these things and yeah, yeah I, I didn't think he'd care too much because he's like he's kind of carefree but I think he holds those values pretty tight so it was kind of a mixed scenario with that but it's kind of it was a weird one but I feel like it's coming a bit more common in NRL now like people agreeing to contracts and then pulling out yeah. do you guys care about that or like because uh, me personally I was like but just look after yourself because yeah. once you're done no, no one gives yeah, a fuck yeah, about yeah. you yeah, <laughs> not really it's a business at the end of the day but, you know, do you, and fans don't see that that side of it um, or I think some fans do and then some fans are still you know you have to stay loyal to the club mm. to the club but but do you know what happens Corey like if you start playing bad say you start playing string a couple bad yeah. games together and the club fucks you off yeah. why don't fans care about that yeah I know that's it's a hard thing it's a balance I think where Players can leave if you're if you're going if you're not going well. The I think some fans turn on you just as good as well. Yeah. They hate as other fans, man. Like you can play <laughs> yeah. well one week and they Hard love you, then the next week you have not a shot and, and they forget everything you've done for the club. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so let's move into your new coach. What's he like? Fuck, he looks intense, man. Like he has <laughs> nah, interviews. He's, he's pretty, yeah. Madge is, yeah, he's pretty cool, Madge. Um, he's pretty down to earth with all the boys, and um, I think. For him, he's pretty intense because um, he just wants us to succeed. As he, as he looks can. super competitive, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, yeah. And he wants us to be our best every week we go out there. And he knows that we can get better every week. So it's good having him as a coach. And I, I really enjoyed him when I was on New Zealand. So mm. so does he change from being a New Zealand coach to – because it's, it's a different frame because you're, you're squashed into like a four-week period, you know what I mean, where he's got to drag it out over 26 weeks and hopefully play finals. Is he a different coach in New Zealand compared to his and Tigers? No, I felt like he was still the same. He was still – he's still passionate about both jobs. But I think for him, he's – with us a bit, uh, a bit more, and um, with us, he he knows that we can get better. So, mm. what do you? How do you feel from you've been? You've had a couple coaches now. What's the difference between him? What separates him from your other coaches? Um, I just think just his passion, like passion for the game, and um, probably his other big one is just. I think he just tries to make us uh, wants to make us good people off the field. Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. So he's, I he's know. big on that. Um, yeah, and just our like tries to make us. How does, he, how, team? how does he try and make you a better oh, person? Just like he's really big on values. Like we have like our core values that we follow and stuff. And he really drives that um, to us boys. And, you know, we really drive that now. We've got a, oh, he's big on leadership. we got, I think it's like two leadership groups. He's in tier two. The more me, co- me and Isan's in what? <laughs> tier three. Tier, tier four. <laughs> 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 nah, but yeah, nah, he's awesome, awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's really good. Um, yeah. You're not, you're not going to bag your coach when he's still your coach too, <laughs> eh? No, that's nah, the thing, he's, you know, good. Right? he's good, bro. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Really good, man. You, Corey? How do you feel about him? Probably the same as Cheese, real big yeah. on values, like uh, off the field, just accountability and um, and respect. I think just that he's a straight shooter as well. If mm. you go and – So he tell you straight to your face yeah. if you're going shit? Yeah, he's not a coach that will, I don't know, bypass the bullshit to keep you happy. Mm. You know, if, you, if you're struggling and he wants improvement, he'll tell you straight there. Yeah. Um, you know, in the preseason – I was just coming back from ankle injury and I was a bit off off how I was training. You know, I was kicking stones with how it wasn't going too well and yeah. he just pulled me aside straight then, you know, that day and said, you got to, you know, realise your ankle's not there. you got to pull your head in yeah. and work harder to get He's back sulking, to where yeah. you Sulking, he wasn't, he kicking wasn't starting stones. on the wing because we had the starting team in. <laughs> he was never in the starting side. So. <laughs> on the bibs, on the bibs. <laughs> on the bibs it was this other guy who was 18 yeah. years old. He was not kicking even a winger. And <laughs> Madge brought me over and just spoke to me then and said, you know, your ankle's not where it was. Yeah. You, gotta, you know, keep your head down and work hard to get where it was. And, you know, that was a big thing for me. He didn't let it go on. He just mm. nipped it in the butt that day. Early. Yeah, that day. And, you know, I really... 
you know, hit me hard and I put my head down and got back to where I was. Yeah, good man. It's kind of um, one of them things like um, you want your coach to knock in your head straight yeah. away. And like, I know some people can't really handle it that way. Like if you could tell someone straight, they kind of like sulk for a bit, you know what I mean? But me personally, I'd, I'd rather know straight yeah, same, away. Yeah. What, was, what, was, what was Ivan's style of coaching? Because when I used to go into his office and ask him questions, he was just, Books, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, but like people was, found him awkward. Oh. I never found him awkward. But um, yeah. What, what's the what's the key differences between Maguire and Ivan? I know they're completely different coaches. Not everyone should have to coach the same. Like, what was their key styles? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I I just think like um I don't know. No offense, but like I feel like I can have like a better convo with Madge. Like um, it was pretty. He's pretty easy to talk to. I think they're both passionate. Yeah, they're just. Yeah. They just deliver it in um, different ways. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So I feel like um, I feel like what a podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel I feel like as an Islander, um, communication yeah. things are pretty hard because we're growing up because we're taught to respect our elders, aren't we? Yeah. And if you cheek him, if you're a kid and you answer back, what happens? Yeah. Get a, get a hiding Yeah, you get a hiding yeah, 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 sure. So what I found with um, Island boys coming through, they struggle to talk to head coaches because they struggle to talk to authority yeah, yeah. because, like, as a kid when we were brought up, you talk back, you get a hiding hard, hard. So, uh, yeah, I feel like then communication between poly boys is super important and Maguire's been good for, yeah, good for yeah, that. Yeah, no, he's been awesome with that. Um, he, he really loves, like, the Kiwi boys. And Does he? Island. Yeah, yeah. So because um, it always gets cut when... <laughs> Are you the favourite AA son? Yeah. Nah, is nah, he? No way. Not anymore. Who, who's, who's the teachers? Who's the coaches better in the team? Bro, he's oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Koza. Koza. Oh, yeah. Koza. Yeah, the man. <laughs> they all thought it was me because I played Kiwis and then yeah. he was the coach, but nah, it's this guy over here now. Yeah. I don't know. He's he got missed, highlights every week. He missed seven goals and he was still the best. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Yeah. He still loved him. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about that and sort of um, – that's probably <clears> the <throat> first sort of heat you'll probably copped as a professional player. Uh, missing kicks, that shit happens, and you copped a lot of barrage from it from social media. Um, you answered back pretty well by kicking a few goals and owning up to it on social media as well. How was that? That was sort yeah, of your first I bit think of that was the uh, first yeah, point in my career so far that I've sort of learned that – Fans, Fans aren't always nah, with you? Nah, they're not with me. And um, I think <laughs> I had so much, I think, going for me at the time. I think, um, you know, that it's not really good when you miss a kick in front and you could have won that game. So um, it's lucky enough that I had like all these boys at training um, backing me and, and giving me a lot of confidence throughout the week. So yeah. Um, I was, yeah, it was sort of the first time it sort of opened my eyes and just realised like these guys don't give a shit about me. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. Nah, they, do, they do care about you. <laughs> they do, <laughs> nah, nah, but like in a sense, like, yeah, they just. Yeah, it, it is what it is though, isn't yeah, it? it and is. I sort of, I've been on Instagram lately sort of sticking up for Benny Hunt and um, I'm getting arguments with fans and people think if you're on a certain amount of money, you shouldn't be able to make mistakes or because you're in the limelight or they buy a TV and watch you, they feel like they own you. Do you feel that sort of sense in rugby league as a fan, including with social media or do you feel like a social media breaks down the walls for fans? How do you, how do you feel about social media in rugby league? Yeah, uh, I guess I can't really talk. I'm not in a, you know, power position like halves and controlling but you know the the negative comments don't really affect me too much so you're right you're you, though, eh? yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't affect yeah. me too much i don't know these these people and mm. you know i know that the ones that support me each week you know they're not going to say a bad word and but i do see like you shouldn't there's certain lines you shouldn't cross yeah when but it comes to like, what, what are those lines what are those lines oh, for just, fans that are listening you know just personal attacks or so family partners yeah, just, all that or sort even of stuff just directly going to east line you know i was I read some of Isan's comments on his things and, you know, there's no refit, like, you're fucking shit, like... Yeah. No one goes out there to miss the goals, like, relax, yeah. like... I'm sure, you know, Benny wanted to catch it. He's not like he goes, I'm dropping this. Yeah. Because I hope we lose, you know. Everyone everyone doesn't want to make errors. But I think there's a fine line. You can criticise people, because, sure, like, you know, it's our job to perform and play well, so... Mm. Yeah, I, yeah. I just think, like, your, your family's on your social media as well and they see that stuff, yeah. like, your brothers and that... Look at that stuff, and when they see people coming at you, it affects them they, as well. So. Yeah, they, they take it more personal yeah. than we yeah, would yeah. As, yeah, yeah. as players, wouldn't they? Yeah, because like my mom like reads all my social media <laughs> stuff. So my mom was like that she too. Was, she was like straight on to it. She was like, and I just said to her like, look, these people have their opinion, and I, I believe like they can just say whatever they want to say. But I think when it affects my family, that's when it sort of affects me as well. So yeah, I don't think people realize how far words can go. Like I know like we're grown men, and we we have to cop that, but they don't see the ripple effect of it that goes yeah. on to families. 
You know what I mean? So I feel like that's that's a part where fans need to sort of like grow up and yeah. like cause yeah. we're, like we're fans of American sports. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Like, like, that's why I kind of feel like similar too. Like you know when I'm watching the boys, like uh, watching the Titans last year. That's yeah. my NFL team, and uh, they're not too good. But like some games, you just want to roast. Yeah, like yeah. some of the players. Because um, they're not playing too good, and He's then the worst fan. <laughs> <laughs> but man, like I, I don't go like overboard. Like yeah. I can tell where they feel. Oh, I can like kind of get how they feel. Like sometimes. you're not DM yeah, Cam, Cam Newton, like, yeah. you motherfucker. What are you doing? <laughs> Bro, your shit. Like I was just like, oh, far out. Like just disappointed, but mm. like I kind of get where you know fans come from and stuff. Like me being a fan of in American sports. But I think like the post that the I don't know who did it, Fox or. I think those people should have our backs too. At the end of the day, like yeah, because when when the story comes and they're in front of you going, "Hey, can you answer this yeah. question?" You can see why boys go, "Nah." Yeah. Mm. So like, I think certain companies, media outlets, should have our backs too. At the end of the day, especially the ones that are so close to us, like you know, they're always there. They're always televising us. Like, I reckon they should have our backs and protect us. Not make a post inviting negative comments. You yeah. Know, like, so that Benny Ham one when he obviously brought up like the shit from 2015. Yeah, pretty much just you don't need to bring up shit, eh? Yeah, you don't you don't need to bring up that sort of stuff. No, and just, that's that's where no, the issue yeah. I had with it. They just invited people to say, here's Ben, just bag like where's your negative comments? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's torture. Um so you've you're not that big in stature, but I think probably a couple of years ago. <laughs> it hurts him lad. <laughs> 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 it's just if me and you went out, yeah. we'd look Normal, <laughs> normal dude. Like, all these tall people that have to Asa, You're not a tall, eh? You're not tall. Uh, no, um, Are like you all six right? Foot, six one. That's all right, eh? Average. I'm above average. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> above average. If you're under yeah. six foot, you're not average. So probably probably about a couple of years ago, it was kind of like the thing to have big wingers yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And you sort of break that mold. And um, I think we look back in the 90s, early 2000s, all the best players were little guys too, you know what I mean? So you you sort of bring that. Sorry, kiss. That's where I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you know what I mean? So you're, you're sort of changing that narrative and you're giving a lot of guys who aren't as probably as big as yeah. these guys. Um, how do you feel about that? No, it's, it's good. I sort of, I don't know, I just don't back down from the bigger wingers, obviously. You're really good in the air too. Like, you, know, <laughs> you, catch, you catch a lot of balls. <laughs> you know, it's, sometimes it's annoying when like I've played almost 70 NRL games and relaxed, they still say, oh, you know, bring it up. Yeah, like I haven't gotten taller since I debuted, so like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't grown, so you don't need to keep saying it. But but I feel like when you're returning the ball and yeah. there's big forwards there, yeah. they're worried about your feet. You know what I mean? They get, if they get put on Gronk and they're on the highlights, you yeah. know what I mean? That that uh, scares them. I think I just play to my strengths. Really, I know I'm not gonna out jump someone, but you know I'm gonna compete mm. to my max to make sure that you know they don't they don't get the ball. And you know each game I really just just try to my try my hardest to. To um go well, yeah, you definitely can see that you're always competing and something I really respect about yeah. you. Yeah, I think mean, that yeah, that's one of his best traits is his he always competing. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. competing. So I think for oh, because I've played outside. Of, oh, he's played outside me uh, yeah. a few times now, and I feel pretty comfortable with him. So yeah, makes good reads and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, where do you where do you come from? Yeah. You <laughs> Auckland? He does He has no idea where. <laughs> 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 Because of Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what's your little backstory for people who don't know your story? Like, where have you come from? Well, obviously, I know you're from Auckland, but yeah, just yeah. I obviously, grew up in Auckland and then made the move when I was like 17 over here. So you come over. Was that hard moving over here? Yeah, it was pretty hard because left all my brothers and sisters behind and my mom and that. So it was pretty hard for her as well. So play for Mount Albert, pretty strong club back home. Yeah, play for Mount Albert. We had a pretty, pretty good side back then. We had yep. a few players that were playing 20s and. Um, I think there's a few players playing in around now. So could you have gone to Warriors twenties or nah? Were they, you they, were you overlooked or yeah? Just I think uh, I was overlooked and they had the players there already that they wanted. You know, mm -hmm. it's pretty hard to go through the development because there's a lot of players in your positions, it's like ten guys in one position. So an Islander at centre, like yeah, our, our original. <laughs> yeah, so it was <laughs> it was pretty hard to make the Warriors over there. So so we, when you come over here, do you go do you go West Tigers first or Rabbitohs? No, no, so I just came over and sort of played like in the local... Comp. Oh, so you weren't signed or anything? No, you, just, no, just, you just backed yourself? Yeah, just backed myself. Oh, that's all time. So just moved over and then got called over to the Roosters. There was this guy, Mike Newton, he was like scouting and took me over to the Roosters and then, yeah, just wasn't playing really good footy and just got dropped from them, so... Oh, really? Yeah, I was contracting everything and they just let me go and yeah. just played local footy and then just got caught up to the Tigers, so... Or like through there, or one of the managers that got me a good get over there. How long ago is this? I was probably in 2014, I think. Shit, that's a pretty quick rise, isn't it? Yeah, so just, just went from there. Yeah. 
Just needed that contract. Yeah. Just Adversity, man, it yeah. helps, doesn't it? Uh, it's good when you get a young age as well, so. Yeah, so you yeah, still got time to sort of yeah. chase it back up. Yeah. What about you, you Mount, Mount Wellington boy, eh? Yeah. yeah. Um, when, when did you come over here? Came over here 2009, I think. Um, oh, 2000, end of 2008, I went to, I was supposed to be in Melbourne for three years. Yeah, I read that, yeah. Yeah, I was at Melbourne for, I was supposed to be there for three years and... Couldn't handle training. <laughs> <laughs> Probably it was hard. It was oh, only, was it? It was only under 20s training and it was, I still reckon it was, it's up there with like the... Hardest one you've ever Yeah, done. hardest pre-seasons I've done. I mean, it's mate, we two Baker. <laughs> oh, you were footy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, but um, I left. It was like semi-final SG ball and then got him to see some trouble in Melbourne and then got... What'd you, got get, up? What'd you, get, what'd you get up to? <laughs> nah, just heaps of stuff, man. <laughs> Common, <laughs> so it sort of followed you, followed you up for your career, eh? Finding trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Then went back, went back to NZ, and um, manager asked if I uh, like want to go back to Australia. Yep. Um, and he was like, um, "Do you want to get a Canberra?" And I was just like, "Oh, where, where, where's that?" And like. As long as it's in Australia, and he goes, yeah, it's the capital, and I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, travel Sydney was the capital, yeah. And he was like, yeah. So then moved over here. I uh, spent three years in Canberra playing twenties, and then uh, went up to Manly for three years, and yeah, ended up at Tigers and been here ever since. Do you like what you learn at Manly? They had some pretty good play. Yeah. Do you know what I found at Manly? They don't train that hard, eh? It was right, so it was, easy, eh? Wow. So funny as when I was there, um, probably like every weight session, like. You know, you remember uh, Watmo? Yeah, Chuck, yeah, Chucky yeah. On the phone. Bro, like, wouldn't even do weights, but like still massive ass yeah. and like strong dude, but I don't, we'll just be doing weights and then he's just walking around the whole gym doing whatever he wants. <laughs> they, they had a good, they had a good side though. Right, yeah, there, sometimes right? when I think about it, like they had Matt I, um, Jamie Lyon. Jamie Lyon. Yeah, Snake yeah, and all Snake, that. Snake, all the boys in that. Yeah. <laughs> 50 in that. <laughs> nah, they're pretty stacked. And um, yeah, sucks. I think about it now. Um, it was just good. To, I still remember like heaps of little things that I like, remember from those days. And yeah. Legends of the game. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to keep going, man. Uh, <laughs> a long time now. Um, so let's, let's talk about something a little bit deeper just for the poly boys here. Um, when you're growing up, you sort of, you're sort of taught that you have to look after your parents and yep. a lot of players come into the NRL and the families think they're on massive money straight away, which isn't always the case. Um, do you think that narrative needs to change or do you think like yeah. from a cultural standpoint? Um, like for me, um, well, my mum and dad has been massive for me, um, you know, coming through. And they always like, you know, we did, they had a lot of struggles and made a lot of sacrifices and, um, they always just told me like, make sure like whatever, whenever like as long as you're happy, um, you know the the money will come and mm. um, you know I'm still chasing that dream to um, like buy them a house one day and stuff like that. But that's yeah. every that's every poly kid's dream. <clears throat> yeah, 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 hard. But um, yeah, I think they just gotta like as a kid coming through, like as a young poly, like you just gotta kind of take that away from your head. Um, yeah, just uh, oh, I gotta pay like or I know heaps of um, oh, Madge was talking about it to me before. Um, he had a few guys at, at Bunnies, a few young pollies. Um, yeah. They're coming through and like they um, used to, like they had no food or anything. Like they were twenties, they went on much money, but their parents and stuff would like take the money. Yeah, take all the money and then they'll be left with nothing. And then um, they'll be playing shit footy and stuff because they weren't really eating and things like that. Or yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, sad, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's rough, but. Do you, have you had to deal with that as, as yeah. your family like that or a little bit think, different? Yeah, or what? it just comes to the point like you got to think if you're gonna look after yourself or. Um, you can look after them So at the end of the day I, st I still go see my mum for lunch yeah. I go take her out for lunch Every couple of weeks So mm. I still go I think the most important for, thing for me Is probably looking after My little brothers and sisters Yeah um, How many them. brothers and sisters you got? Oh I got heaps uh, Probably There's like 11 of us So I got 11? One. Yeah but my mum and dad split up So I got oh, brothers okay. in New Zealand yeah. So um, yeah I think Probably looking after them Is the most important one for me So mm. What about you? How, what's your thoughts? Oh, you don't probably have to talk about poly culture, but oh, fuck, my mum gives me money because Sydney's fucking expensive. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that a new is contract? Is that? Is that is uh, are you, I live yeah, out well, in Campbelltown just so I can live in Sydney. Are you out in Campbelltown? Are you? Yeah, me and my missus, we got um a, like a new estate. Yeah, out in Macarthur, so um we sort of sac sacrificed the the distance for a better living situation, yeah. and now nah, in the in the mornings it's pretty tough with the traffic, but um. No, you know, it's good. I can't really talk on, on these boys because I never had to 
to face that sort of things. But yeah, you know, it would be hard for a young kid, you know, with the pressure of thinking you have to give your your money to your to parent to your parents to support them mm. and to help out. And you know, at the back in mind, you probably want to do it too. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, if you, if you can't look after yourself before you give the money to them, you know, yeah. I think you should really worry about making sure yourself's okay. And then you know, if you have any left, say, oh, here's, you know, this I'm okay. But yeah, you know, I can't really talk about it since I've never. Because um, I remember when I was in twenties and we had a few Islander boys in there. And we would boys like we would have been on like five ten k max. Yeah, you know um, what I mean? That and was then, like big deal. Back yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Like, cool, big swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like five ten fifteen k. But yeah. you, you're wearing like NRL coloured uniforms, and yeah. a lot of people will associate that you're killing it straight away, which is never the case. Yeah. And I remember like a few boys like they're like the mums used to bring them up and go, oh, like we can't pay our mortgage. Like, can you give us some money? And the same same thing yeah, that yeah. talked about at the Rabbitohs, they'd give up all their money mm. and then would have to buy them like food. But we're only smacking noodles and stuff anyway so I don't know I think I think it's a narrative that needs to change yep. do you feel that or do you just like this is our culture this is the way we we roll or yeah I think it's just the way you're raised I think yeah um, the, my parents didn't really raise me to sort of look after them yep. they always looked after us so I think it just comes back it just falls back onto you I think like if you really want to look after them you can take care of them or I think for your, if you're a league player and your young kid coming through, I think looking after yourself is probably number one, isn't number it? Number one, because you want to be at your best. And if you can be at your best and earn that really big contract, mm. then you can sort of look after them at the end of the day. Because, so. you know, like, as us as Islanders, you know, like families, everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Like, family's everything to us. And I think, like, at the end of the day, just make sure you, like, do right by you first so you can, like, play good footy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the the foot, better footy you play, the more yeah, money yeah, you yeah, get. Yeah, 100%. So. Um, but, yeah, just. Even on like like churches and that, like, you know, when you donate money and they'll be up the front and go, oh. chicken family donated $300. <laughs> when you're sitting there eating noodles. My <laughs> like, chicken yeah, yeah. played NRL, he donated oh, $100. <laughs> but it is a little bit like that, but yeah. I don't know. Culture's culture and yeah, yeah, it's, hard, hard. it's been there for a long, long time, yeah. a long, a long, like way before we've been around. So yeah, I think just having that conversation too, like I know. Sometimes growing up, you don't want to have the conversation with your parents, and mm. um, I just just like some advice, like I'll give to young boys that's coming up through the ranks, is just have that conversation with their mum and dad. Like, look, um, I'm not on that. Like you guys know, I'm not on that much, and I, like I'm doing my best. I'm just gonna try to look after me first. So I can play my best footy and hopefully get a bigger contract. Yeah, um, yeah, but I know it's hard because family's first, and yeah, and our culture, but yeah. Ah, it's cool, man. All right, so let's line the subject up a little bit. What's it like playing with Robbie and Benji? Nah, it's mad, especially... They're killing it. They, they're yeah, going... Yeah, do they know the end's coming, so they're, they're just, like, free? You know what I mean? They're just... Yeah, oh, they are right, killing yeah, it. Killing I think it. they're playing stress-free. You know, there's no pressure on them. Mm. They're just leading us around, and I think Brooksy, you know, it helps him a lot, too. Oh, when, Bro- Brooksy's a gun, man. When um, Bags yeah. and Faffa, you know, playing well, Brooksy just flows off it. And, yeah. You know, he runs for 150 metres and, you know, sets up tries, too, so... Yeah, it, it's really good having Faf and um, Benji playing well. Yeah, I, I even didn't even think about um, Brooks in that equation, but yeah, he's he's one yeah, of your better yeah. players. And when he and when he's running the ball, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hard to tackle, isn't he? Yeah, because teams don't realize how fast and strong he is. Yeah, he is strong. Yeah. I was at a festival one time and I picked him up on my shoulder. <laughs> but he's so heavy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and like his defense too, like yeah, it goes hard, of, eh? yeah, yeah. A lot of halves, like you, you'll be like, oh, yo, keen to run the unders line on this team. Who me? When your ankle sprained again, <laughs> don't let him run past and dive on his Get away, get him, get him. <laughs> nah, but yeah, bro. Uh, uh, he puts some shots on, like on heaps of guys, like way bigger than him. But, yeah, yeah. I just think he's, he's a big player, man, and um, Feffen. Um, Benji What's like, like, like We grew up in New Zealand Like Benji's yeah, yeah, Benji's bro, king that's A what I, I, That's what I mean Like I don't think It's hit us yet But like us Cube boys I, I reckon later on Like once we finish Like mm. we'll be like Shucks got to Play with Benji eh? mm. and, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to Want to say it to him Because he'll, yeah, he'll Give it to us eh? do, do nah, that, yeah. Sorry just but, yeah. do, do you reckon we don't Like um, pump each other up Enough in football yeah, because hey, you know it's like when you hang around the boys. Yeah, oh, yeah, hard, oh, like talk just talk shit. Yeah, 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 we don't not, really, talk, we don't really yeah, have real nah. conversations. And that's why I actually boys about your girlfriends at the start because I yeah. want to see if you guys want to open up and pump yeah. your girlfriend up because it's kind of cool not to like. Yeah. It's kind of like how long you been with your girlfriend for? Wow, well, like seven years. Do you want to pump her up on the podcast? Get a start tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's, is this a line? Yeah, no, I'll put it out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you you know when you're in the changing room, and you talk about your partner. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like she's going, to, like you know, it's yeah. just kind of the cool thing yeah. to say. I don't I, think like, especially mine, like 
she's had to sacrifice heaps for my career mm. too. Like yeah, travel. Um, yeah. We're from Brisbane. We're both from Brisbane. You know, she had a good job. I moved to the Bulldogs. She had to leave her job. Mm. Came down here. You know, it took her a while to find work because she'd never been to Sydney before. You know, she found a good job. I told her, oh, you have to quit your job because we're going to England. <laughs> <laughs> what a boyfriend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> moved yeah. to England. You know, she was on a, you know, a visa. So, you know, works hard. Yeah, it is. She couldn't it? get a car because she was just on a visa. So she couldn't get loans for anything. Were you living in Witness? No, nah, Manchester. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 So then, you know, it was tough for her, probably more tougher than me. Mm. Came back to Sydney. Uh, she could finally get a get ahead in life. Yeah. You know, she's got a really good job now. And then I just told her, you know, I'm going to work my hardest so we can both stay in Sydney mm. and you can get ahead in your life because, you know, if, if the shoe was on the other foot and I had to travel. We'd be complaining, wouldn't we, as well? That's blokes? what I said. I wouldn't. Yeah. Fuck, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. <laughs> so, yeah. like, but I think yeah. the partners get a massive shout out too. Yeah. Like, I know um, these boys' partners, they support them massively too. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of effort coming to games each week too. They got to wait around for hours. Do you know what the hardest thing for a girlfriend has to be? Deal with the mood swings, I reckon. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what I was yeah. about to say. Like they go, they go through what we go through too. Like they feel everything, like mm. the emotions. Especially on just a normal training day. If we train yeah. shit, we go home angry. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 Just a Tuesday arvo when we're filthy. And there's not oh. many jobs in the world where you judge weekly, not only by mm. yourselves, yeah. your teammates, your coach, but the public as well. So yeah. you know what I mean? It can weigh, it can weigh on you as a person, and you are just like that all the time, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, that's yeah. Why they play a big role, like. Just that support base. Like. You're trying to get a start tonight too, Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she knows, she knows. Goes to <laughs> <laughs> you know you are. Hey. <laughs> Yo, what's up, baby girl? <laughs> uh, so, sorry, just back onto Benji and Farah. I know you've credited him to a lot. I read a quote not too long ago. He said, you were skillful because of Benji because you used to play 5-8 back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I think playing with those two, um, both different players, and I think um, they're coming to the end of their career, but they don't tell us that, I think, so... Um, for them, uh, I think they're really good players, and uh, especially playing with Benji, um, grew up watching him and idolising him as a young kid, um, to get the opportunity to play with him, and hopefully when he moves on, you can tell your kids you played with probably one of the best players that's ever played the game. And He changed the game, didn't he? Yo. Yeah. Well, you look at Kalen, you look at Shawnee Johnson, you look at Roger, like, they're, yep. just, they're just copying the shit yeah, he did, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think because we were, t- I think we were training last week, and I think... So one of the boys, I think it was my head, did like one of these flip passes. And Benji's like, hold the effing ball. Like, hold the fucking ball. And I was like, bro, you used to do that back in the day. He's like, come on, bro. Like, what, Benji off a kickoff? Yeah. <laughs> sure. So I was like, yeah, like. Benji, what a hater, man. Let the boys flick, man. Let the boys flick fast. <laughs> but yeah, I think his, his, his playing style now has sort of changed and he's matured, yeah. matured yeah. now. So. Yeah, because I've heard him talk about it in the past where like, um, actually I was with Sean Johnson in the weekend too and he said the same, like he could do like, not play well for 70 minutes and do have a 10 minutes and put a win Just together and they'll pump him. But Sean, you go, I don't feel like I played well because I know the game. Yep. And I feel like Benji was the same. Man. He gets a buzz out of like kicking well and doing all that sort yep. of stuff now. What are, so what are, they, what are they like off the field? What's Farrah, what's Farrah like? What's Benji like? Yeah, they're pretty good characters off the field. I feel um, like you guys don't really hang around any other people in your team. You guys are always stuck together. <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, so yeah, we, we, we've got a little group going on. But yeah, like for me, we talk with Benji and Faf and that they're all pretty down to earth guys and um, they like to joke around a lot so it's mm. good hanging around them. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Mahi Fanua, he's probably the other one out of your crew. What's he like? He's I've <laughs> <laughs> Bro, one of a kind. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, we probably fight the most me and that guy. Oh, what do you fight about? Just it's anything. Just use yeah. <laughs> 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 just stuff that ah, on the field and probably, probably more on the field. That's what that's. Uh, when we argue the most, probably. Any stories on him? No, not really. Yeah. Seems, but, nah. <laughs> I think I've caught him, like, trying to talk to his missus on the phone. What's he when like? He, when he's in the hotel. Yeah. He's got a different voice. Oh, is he changing. one of those guys? Yeah, soft voice. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, speaking on that, when I was talking to Benny Madalena, he goes, I told him I was going to get the boys on. And they go, oh, you won't get the real Isan, you'll get the media Isan. Yeah. <laughs> Actual. Nah. Should have Benny on actually. Yeah. No. Really, so you just sit in the corner, just go, <laughs> the mute, the mute. <laughs> you need to turn his mic on. I asked him. I was like, oh, you just, I asked him and Russ, do you just want to yeah. jump on? And they're like, fuck that. <laughs> what a mate, man. <laughs> <laughs> Surely jump on. Uh, nah. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool guys too. Yeah. Miss Malachi. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. he's a, he's a really good guy. Yeah, yeah he's bro. real good. How's his business going with his watches and stuff? Yeah, I think he's going pretty well. He hasn't posted up anything oh, on our chat because he's he's still in our chat. Yeah, and um, 
Let it go, uh, Malachi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Panthers now, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boys are getting pumped. Just like, <laughs> go hang with them. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's, he's going pretty good. Uh, we caught up with him when we played them in Penrith, I think. Yeah. A few months ago. So I was good to catch up with him just to see how he's doing. So. Still wears his, all his Adidas gear and stuff. Oh, is he sponsored by Adidas, is he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. with the gel in the hair too. <laughs> <laughs> is he trying to go for that man bun look at the yeah, moment? Yeah, yeah. What's he? Yeah. Come on, mate. Too old for that. Uh. <laughs> Not the old school haircuts. <laughs> that shit was like five years ago. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. so life outside of football, what do you guys get up to? Fuck, we just play Fortnite against each other. Oh, you use a Fortnite yeah, crew, yeah. are you? It's just the same, same four fort. boys yeah. come home from training. Is that Malachi as well? Nah, oh, he's he used to be. He used to be. But as soon as I get home, Isan sends the message out. Yeah. Jump on. He has his cleaner come over and clean his house. <laughs> you got a cleaner. Yeah, he's got a cleaner, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's, 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 oh. yeah, you got to have a cleaner and breakfast point, lady. <laughs> look, trying to look all like the locals, eh? <laughs> you get down to the palace much? Uh, no, not really. It's all old guys there, so I don't really go up there much. But I've had my biggest pokey win in that place. <laughs> have you? Yeah, we won That's twenty. We won twenty k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. You have lunches there sometimes. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. eh? Yeah. So who's who's the best out of Fortnite? Are you boys? Or probably you, son. Oh, you good now? Yeah? Yeah, 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 I'm all right. Could you compete at like a decent level? Nah, or? nah I couldn't compete with all those other guys. Those guys are sweaty guys, I think. So yeah, <laughs> those guys play twenty four seven. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, so just yeah. Fortnite. That's all, all you guys Fortnite, are into. Yeah, don't really do much. She thinks he can play basketball. Madden. He plays 2K I think, I think everyone Oh yeah, two, yeah, yeah. I said a, You're a bit of a 2K guy eh? Nah nah Just try and sell t-shirts man. <laughs> <laughs> so we, really, um, we went on camp one time And this guy Bought his 2K Nah that wasn't me I don't know oh, but wanted thought, <laughs> you wanted to vest everyone, Nah nah He wanted to vest Everyone thought he was a man eh? <laughs> Oh whoa, There's a basketball gear well. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting pumped too <laughs> eh? um, So after, do you ever guys Think about after football Or are you guys still Drenched in football Um, Yeah But like Probably for me now, um, getting like 27, so you've got to start looking like like for after footy. And what's your um, passions? What do you want to do after football? Sucks. I don't. I don't really know. Way. Like last year, I was doing a carpentry course. Yeah. Like I was, I think probably four months into that, and then Did I, I like like stopped doing that. And the year before, I like oh, I finished my so three in fitness, and now um I think I've only got like three assignments left, and then I've done my cert four, and then but now I'm doing like this other. Builders course, uh, builders license. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna try um, everything. Try everything. And <laughs> I, I, well, I honestly feel like that's the way to yeah, go. Yeah, right? bro. Cause Cause you don't know, I reckon like probably like a couple of years time, three years, five years. You like you could change your mind and yeah. As long as you have those qualifications, you can just be like, oh, yeah, I might jump into this. Because I'm um, like you know, and footy they push you towards the same sort of yeah, courses yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah. And yeah. I I done my cert three and cert four, and yeah. I done PT for like two weeks while I was playing. I was going fuck this. This, this, is, this is torture. <laughs> So you, you spend so, more time yeah. you spend more time trying to motivate them than anything yeah, you know yeah, what I mean harder. and then you come from a f- professional background where everyone's already, already, already motivated yeah, and yeah. want to like want to make it and then you get these people coming and going oh. yeah hard. I reckon it's alright if you like want to start your own business and stuff yeah like, 100% but not like if you want to go just for like a job or something like that it'll be I know you mean like it'll be pretty shit do you reckon the NRL's doing enough for you guys in education and welfare yeah I, I think our club is yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, is um, Robbo still Jeff Robson yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's a good lad isn't yeah. he so every day they walk past us and yep. try doing? and push you know after football yeah yeah him and Gabby on to you so what do you what no, do you good. what do you what are you thinking after football uh, I want to stay in Stripper. sport yeah. <laughs> horrible <laughs> I want to stay in sport, <laughs> you know, whether it's like a PE teacher. Yeah. You know, I'd love to, you know, be able to teach sport or, you know, so PE teacher would be really good, but, you know, that's four or five years of uni, so, yeah. you know, I've got to make sure that I'm prepared to do that, but. Have you, you, know, sta- have you started that or? No, I was supposed to no. start um, at the start of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that creepy um, PE teacher. I was supposed to start at the start of the year. That's the the highlights videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that was me boys for the day. Yeah, 45 <laughs> tries at Wigmas. Uh, <laughs> but then um, I was supposed to start uni at the start of the year and you know, I didn't get all my paperwork in that time, so the next one's July. So, mm. you know, I've got to try and get my head around if I want to, you know, do footy and then study part-time too because it's a lot of commitment. Yeah. You know, training all day and then going yeah. to uni. But, you know, I was a baggage handler before, while I was in Brisbane. What was that like? I loved it, bro. What? Like, it was... Handing out bags, eh? <laughs> just throwing bags onto the planes. And, um, <laughs> like, this sounds dodgy ass. <laughs> dodgy ass, <laughs> like, Giving bags to people. <laughs> and then um, well, some of the boys there made over 100K just being baggage handlers. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so on a Sunday you get double time. Yeah. And you could work 14, 15 hours easily. It's, mm. it's pretty cruisy. So, you know, I don't want that to be, you know, obviously <laughs> I want to stay in sport and do like a really good career. But 
yeah, at the end of the day, if I don't have anything, I'm going straight back there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, good four pack. Unless you got as a long plan. as you're having fun, bro. Yeah, like, as long as you. Hundred K, bro. That's good money too. You need to throw bags for a living. Yeah. <laughs> Any qualification sling, or sling or bags for a hundred K? A little bit younger, twenty two. Does these thoughts cross your mind or? Nah, yeah, not yet? it's pretty nah. hard for me. Nah, just take <laughs> all the salary cap. For the next <laughs> <laughs> pretty hard for me because yeah, I'm still pretty young and just coming into my third year in NRL now, so yeah. it's still all pretty new for me. So just I don't know what I'm gonna do after footy. I still haven't figured it out yet, so hopefully know, I can figure it out soon. Do you know what, as Islanders, we, we, we don't get taught about money when we're a kid, eh? What about you? Do you get taught about money as a kid? Like how you should no, invest no. it? On the world. Money and nutrition, I think. Nutrition. You should learn about nutrition. <laughs> That's ice. You ice about that. Nah. Eating magnets before we paid the PT. <laughs> I remember. Captain's run. Fat man. Eh? I'm a fat mess. I shouldn't have played that. I can't game. wait for life after footy. Yeah, you can't Don't wait. Worry about. Oh, obviously, I'll you get your weekends back. I want to play yeah, footy for as uh, long as I can, but just how strict it is. Mm. You know, playing. Mm, yeah. You know, just to be the fair, hip noisy. Yeah. Like, you know, if you eat bad during the week, you go into a game. You're like. Right. <laughs> what what about, be <laughs> you know what? I never used to stand on a scale because I was like, oh shit. Like, if I was two kgs too heavy, I was like, fuck. I'm going to get tired. It's my head now. It's my head. Hard. Yeah. Um, so, I'm always, uh, it's probably the last couple of questions. I'm always interested in how people spend their game days. Are you superstitious? Um, go, we'll go through Isan this way, left to right. How do you spend your day? Like, what do you like? What do you eat? Like, be honest to you. Um, probably I always used to have, a, I always have an omelette in the morning. Yeah. What's in your omelette? Probably just cheese, ham, that's it, tomatoes, mm. just the normal eggs. stuff. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> just the normal stuff and then, yeah, probably just go home. If it's a longer day, probably play the game in the mm. morning just to kill a bit of time and then probably have a little bit of a sleep, a couple of hours and then, yeah, go to the game and I always used to always have a shower before the game just to wake me up, like a cold well, shower. Like before you get to the ground? I have or a shower just before, before I go to the game but... I'll have a shower yeah, just before I play mm. so just to get me ready for the game freshen up so nervous? Uh, yeah pretty nervous depends if I played pretty shit the week before or yeah. if I played good so I think it comes down to I think me being confident throughout the week so are you a confidence person or? yeah if I, I think if I get a lot of confidence in myself that's when I play my best footy so write anything on your wrist? nah not really I'm not really I remember this one time when I was at when I was playing footy for club footy I think one of the boys it was on the, only on the, on the 14s and I think one of the boys must have strapped his wrist and like put all the stuff on. Yeah. And then had a I shocker. Think we had a shock. We had a shock. <laughs> like we paid shit. And then my coach goes, see, that's what happens when you guys, you think you guys are the Warriors. You want to write the stuff on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. Oh, I'll never do that again. So. Don't like the Warriors or? Nah, I think, <laughs> oh, well, I hate I think that's when you're playing that time as well. So. Bro, I still play. Remember when you used to wear those skins up to the knees? <laughs> no, that wasn't me. It's the The Benny Pomeroy's. <laughs> yeah, bro, all of you's had it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, I do remember yeah, that, eh? Bro, that was we just stuck that with free, to be yeah, honest. Uh, all right, so after a game, what's your, what's your go-to meal? Like, what do you... Uh, probably... Yeah, I'll probably go have, like, McDonald's or something, KFC. Yeah. What do you get? <laughs> just... Oh, for McDonald's, probably get like a double quarter pounder. Mayo? Meal. Yeah. Mayo probably in it? Not, I don't and know. What Put else? mayo in it? Nah, nah, just but just normal. I don't really have, I just eat anything after the game, really. Yeah. Anything nice. Chicam, took us through your game day. Um, nah, I don't really have like a strict schedule. It's just. Just. <laughs> <laughs> just crazy, eh? Like, uh, wake up, like sometimes I'll go out for brekkie, depending if it's a long day. Why? Yeah, huh? <laughs> got a little spot there. Yeah. Of the Italian DY cafe. Um, Sponsor Hopefully give me a free feed <laughs> <laughs> Nah yeah just, uh, Or just at home My missus usually makes me um, Like bacon egg wraps Can she so, cook? Yeah bro Hectic cook um, Just Cooks me all the basic stuff so yeah. It's easy for her And um, yeah Probably just chill out um, Jump on the game with the boys If it's early in the morning mm. And have a nap And then um, Have like a chicken sandwich or, or Just rice and tuna Before Head off to the game Yeah Then have a banana And then Yeah Sounds pretty quite planned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Like, <laughs> oh, so you're not too worried? You're just, <laughs> you're just <laughs> rambling there? Yeah. yeah, but yeah, get to the game and just got to have the tunes, eh? Like tracks. What do you um, listen? What, what's, your go-to, what's your go-to song? Um, if you had to pick one song for the rest of your career, what would it be? Oh, shucks. Probably have to go with like a, just old school, eh? Probably the Mariah Carey song. Like, hey? Sing yeah, it. Sing it for fantasy, us. Fantasy, eh? Sing uh, it. Oh, yeah, just any Mariah Carey song, bro. Hectic. Just yeah. Gets you in that happy mood. All right, so I see. I see you with your wrists. You write. You got 
Do you um, have a verse on it or something? Yeah, no, nah, I just write, because I'm a Christian, so I just write Jesus. Um, obviously, plays a big part of my life. Mm. I like how I was raised and stuff and um, where, I'm, where I'm at now. And um, just write uh, mama, like so my grandma. Uh, mm. She passed away uh, earlier this year. And um, on my right, <coughs> I just write uh, Lex. That's my wife, just for mm. my wife. And then Ainga, um, family. family. Yeah, so that's all. Yeah. Been doing that since... Um, under twenties, yeah, yeah, just carried it on. That's cool. All right, yeah. so Tigers pump someone. What are you, where are you going for a feed afterwards? Um, I don't know. I just mix it up. Um, but probably my favorite is like butter chicken, really, cheese, yeah. garlic naan. Oh. Right, okay, to you after sometimes when I'm. Oh, if not, I'll just get a New York pizza. Mm. Massive ones from Domino's. Sick. How right, about yeah. you, um, Mr. Uh, Consistent? Usually oh. just uh, before I had like before the game the night I have spaghetti bolognese. That's old school way. Yeah. But then, you know, I always had that. Then one night I had to have steak because we went out for dinner and I had mad head noise. Because <laughs> I, I didn't have the spaghetti. Yeah. And then I played really well that game after the steak and then I had even more head noise because then I thought, fuck, well, what do I have for dinner now? Do I stick with that or do I, do I have steak? What do you go with? I still have spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> but then now, uh, usually in the morning I have just uh, four eggs on toast. Four, that's a lot, man. And then... Um, <laughs> Just play the PlayStation with these boys just to relax. Yeah. And have a laugh for a couple of hours. Any rainforest e- music? E- exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what a story of this dude. He <laughs> talks shit too. <laughs> oh, I see. I've known him for a little while. I know that. <laughs> yeah. And then um, just usually Subway for lunch. What do you go, then, Subway? Uh, What's the go-to? Oh, just a foot-long chicken fillet mm. on Italian herbs. Yeah. But I can't really eat much on game day. Get nervous? Yeah, massive. You know, I'm always... You a spewer? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like before we run oh, they're the worst, eh? You're trying to get ready for a game. So like, <laughs> <laughs> before we run out, like, because obviously we have all our no-dos and yeah. all that energy shit that we take before the game and just I can feel it sitting in my throat before we run out. So <laughs> This is every game. Like, every, every game. game. So what would you like? Like before, warm, warm before warm-up or before game? Uh, before warm-up. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Then. So... Try and throw up quietly, but it's loud as. <laughs> <laughs> then um, now nah, I'm ready to go after that. Yeah. yeah. And just tries after tries, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so Suncor say you guys pump someone, what are you, are you going to for a feed afterwards? No, nah, well, Suncor we usually... Oh, no, just, I'm just saying. I'm just nah, saying. I go straight to, straight to Macca's. <laughs> Macca, are you a Macca's as well? Yeah, massive. I get a large Big Mac meal with chicken nuggets. Big Mac's a rank. Yeah, Bro, I love them. Well, the best. Oh, you like them too? I don't like them. I think it's the sauce. Chicken yeah. nuggets. Large soft drink, large fries, and fuck, eat it all before I even get home in the, in the, in the car. Yeah, you live in Campbelltown. That's ages away. You can have twice a week. All right, boy, all right, boys, I just want to thank you for jumping on. Uh, welcome back anytime. Uh, I'll give you a gift card for some clothes soon, so make sure you rep it. Um, all, the best for the, all the best for the end of the season. Uh, where can people find you? On Instagram. <laughs> Breakfast point. <laughs> my name? My name was? Uh, Maguire's house. <laughs> Actually. Uh, Do you want people to find you on Instagram or no? <laughs> you said Masters, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, mine was just my name, Michael Cheekham. Mine's just Corey Thompson. 15, yeah. 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 All right, boys, thanks for jumping yeah, on. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Sweet, later. Edge.